today I'm going to show you how to make L-wire fairy wings. But if you're not into the L-wire, you can use the basic structure to make wings for all your practical pixie needs. What's up Threadheads? When we first started Threadbanger about 560 videos ago, I did a fairy wing tutorial using mostly upcycled materials and I really love them. I have since refined my fairy wing building skills and wanted to do another tutorial. The structural design is based on that old video of Emily Autumn showing how she made her wings. They were super awesome. So I wanted to show how to build the structure of the wings and then try something I've never done before, add L-wire to them. EL-wire is a bendy glowing wire that is controlled by an inverter. I usually get mine from L-wire Pros. I bought two separate pieces of L-wire, each measuring 11 feet, and each with its own inverter, so theoretically, if they were turned on the slow blinking setting at different times, they would create the effect I wanted. Yeah, it kinda works for a few seconds, but regardless, I think they rock. So, let's get to making them. Intermediate. Okay, to make these wings, you'll need some wire to create the basic structure. I like to use this coated copper wire. When taking it off the roll, straighten as you go. Pulling it off like this makes it a lot more difficult to straighten. Cut and straighten eight pieces of wire, each measuring 42 inches. Measure in and mark both ends of each wire at the five inch mark. Then bend each wire and twist the ends together starting at the markings you made. Once they're all bent into shape, take two of them and bend them like this maybe? The shape is really up to you. Then get yourself some old tights and stretch one leg over one of the segments. Cut the stockings as you're pulling them taut and tape the end in place starting where the twisted end of the wire starts using electrical tape. Do the same process with the other leg and the other segment. Then bend the ends like this. Tape those two segments together with electrical tape. Now sew the cut end of your tights together with a zigzag stitch and repeat the covering process with two more segments that you've bent a different way, maybe like this. Now tape those sections together. Use another pair of tights to cover the four remaining segments. Then tape the matching segments together and tape each section to the main set of wings, one section at a time, until they are one mega set of wings. You can decorate the wings any way you want. Sometimes instead of black lacy textured tights, I use white pantyhose and paint each section with acrylic paint. Before you paint them, you can actually burn holes in them with incense stick and it creates this really cool effect. You can also add ribbons to the middle part that hang down and flowers and little butterflies and rhinestones and old keys and well, really so many things. Since I wanna play with L-wire, I'm keeping the decor to a minimum. And since we have to sew on that L-wire, this type of holy texture tight works really well. As I said before, each string of L-wire is 11 feet long, and if you've used the same measurements as I have, everything is going to fit into place. To attach it, we need to make a housing for both of the inverters. The best material I found is this double thick felt situation. I cut one piece measuring 8 inches by 5 inches, and then two more pieces that fit on that piece like so. Then I sewed those pieces on like this. Both of the end sections should be big enough to snugly fit the inverters. You need to be able to pull them all the way out to change the batteries when the time comes. The housing will fit over the middle section of the wings like this when it's all said and done. Next, use a metal straight edge as a guide for cutting eight slits into the felt at these locations. Fold the housing piece in half and feed a long piece of wide ribbon through the top two right slits and then the top two left slits. Then place the housing over the midsection of the wings, feed each ribbon through the slit below it, and feed each end of the ribbon under the midsection and through the corresponding slit on the front part of the housing. Glue the housing together connecting the inverter sections. And your housing's complete! Next, we take on the tedious but meditative process of stitching the L-wire to the edge of each segment, starting with the L-wire from this inverter and this wing. I'm using a simple whip stitch and a double threaded needle. It's kind of a slow going process. You could glue it if you want, but that's also a difficult and messy process, and the L-wire eventually comes unglued, especially if you're taking it to Burning Man. You'll sew the first string of L-wire on following this trajectory. Then the second string will be for the bottom four segments. When it's all sewn on, 
go ahead and pat yourself on the back. You can also glue on some faux flower buds to key areas to cover any unsightly things, and you have some beautiful illuminated wings. Hey Threadheads, just wanted to give a shout out to everyone who requested that I remake the fairy wing tutorial. I love making fairy wings, so I'm super excited to share all of my new tips, techniques, tricks, alliteration. If you have any questions about any of the things, techniques, tricks, tips that I did in the video, leave a comment below. I'll be happy to answer them. And I'm sure you noticed that awesome makeup I was wearing for several scenes during the episode. Don't worry, we're gonna have a tutorial showing you how to do that awesome dark fairy makeup. I know the comments would have been like, do the makeup, we wanna see the makeup. We're gonna do the makeup just for you.